Hey guys, welcome to the Electrical Guy channel. Today in this video, I am going to explain you how to perform the wiring of inverter for all the rooms in your home. This will be done by using only one inverter. You can see a layout is displayed on screen. This contains three rooms, one corridor and a washroom. In all these rooms, we have to do connections of inverter. So how to do the connections? Let's understand. Friends in our home, the main power supply we get is supplied from electrical pole to energy meter in our home. After this, we use a main distribution board. In our main distribution board, one MCB, one RCCB and some single pole MCBs are present. These all single pole MCBs are used to supply power to each and every room. In these MCB, we provide connections of phase supply. For providing neutral supply, we distribute neutral supply by using a neutral bus bar. Now in all the rooms, we have to use a separate switchboard. So let's bring the switchboards. In all of these rooms, we also have to provide separate fan. Along with this, in every room, we will use two bulbs. So let's connect two two bulbs. In this washroom, only one bulb need to be connected. And to turn on and off this bulb, we will use a switch. Through this switch, we can turn on and off this bulb. In our home, we have to do connections of inverter also. So to perform inverter connections, we are using an inverter. In this inverter, to provide incoming power supply, we are using a battery. To this switchboard, two different power supply is going to be connected. First is main power supply and another is power supply from inverter. So how the connections can be done, let's see. Friends watch this video till the last. If you like this video, please give like on my video and don't forget to share this video with your friends. Ok then, let's move forward. In this energy meter, at the first terminal and at second terminal, we have to provide phase supply and neutral supply. At first terminal, we provide phase supply and at second terminal, we provide neutral supply. So here I did the connections. These two wires are for incoming power supply, which are coming from electric pole. In this energy meter, the third terminal here, this one, this is our outgoing neutral supply. From here, we will connect wire and connect the wire with MCB. The fourth terminal in energy meter, this one, from here we get phase supply. So from here also, connect a wire and provide incoming power supply to MCB. In this MCB, connect a wire from outgoing terminal and loop this wire with RCCB, means provide incoming power supply to RCCB. Similarly, neutral supply has to be connected. So we provided incoming power supply to RCCB. In this RCCB, from outgoing terminal of neutral supply, this one, connect a wire at this terminal and connect other end of wire with bus bar. So from here I connected a wire and connected with bus bar. From this second terminal, we get phase supply at outgoing terminal. From here we will connect a wire and it is to be connected to all the MCBs. At this MCB, we didn't provide it incoming power supply because the MCB will be used for inverter. So we did the connections with all the MCBs through phase supply. Now in this inverter here, we have to provide two kind of incoming power supply. First power supply from battery and second will be main power supply. So here we will provide incoming power supply through battery. If you look at this inverter, you will find total three wires. One red wire, one black wire and one cable. This red wire is a positive wire, so we will connect this wire with positive terminal of battery. This black wire will be connected to negative terminal of battery. Now friends, this cable here is for incoming power supply means incoming of main power supply. To this cable, power will be supplied through this socket. So what I will do is, I am using a 3 pin plug top. From this cable, we will connect a wire and connect this with the plug top. Friends, here I didn't explain you the connections of plug top. I hope you know how to do the connections of plug top. Ok, let's move forward. So we provided incoming power supply to inverter, through battery and even through main power supply. Now in this inverter, we have to take the outgoing power supply. For outgoing power supply, I am using this 3 pin plug top again. Always keep one thing in mind, from inverter, we only take phase supply for outgoing. Neutral supply outgoing is not used. The neutral supply of main power supply can be used for inverter also. In this plug top, at the right hand side pin, this one, from this pin, connect one wire. And to this MCB for inverter, connect the wire with this MCB. To this MCB, we provided incoming power supply. Now we have to do connections in all these switchboards. Friends, to these switchboards, we have to provide two kind of power supply. One is main power supply and other one from inverter. How to perform wiring for this? Let's see. 
Before wiring, first let us discuss that which electrical equipments run on normal power supply and which equipments on inverter. So let us consider this fan and this LED bulb must work on inverter power supply and this LED bulb must work on normal power supply. So in the same way other rooms equipment must work. This fan and this bulb will work with inverter power supply and this bulb work with normal power supply. Similarly this fan and this bulb from inverter supply and this LED and this socket from normal power supply. So how to do the wiring let's see. Friends in this room number 1 we have to provide here incoming power supply that is main supply. From this MCB connect a wire with outgoing terminal and connect other end of wire with this switch. We will use this switch to glow this bulb. For this from this switch connect a wire with outgoing terminal and provide phase supply to this bulb. If we want to turn on this bulb then by pressing this switch this bulb will be turned on and on again pressing the same switch bulb can be turned off. This other switch here will be used to control this socket. We will provide incoming power supply to this switch from here only. Means by looping a wire we will provide incoming power supply to this switch. Now in this switch connect a wire with outgoing terminal and in this socket at right hand side pin connect the wire here. Now on pressing this switch phase supply is supplied to this socket. You can see here that to this bulb and to this socket we did the connections of these with normal power supply. In the same way we will do the connections in room number 2. How we will do? See here. From this second MCB connect a wire and connect other end with the switch. This means we provided incoming power supply to this switch. Now through this switch we need to control this bulb. So connect a wire with outgoing terminal of switch and provide phase supply to this bulb. With the help of this switch we want to control this socket. So what we will do is loop a wire from here and provide incoming power supply to this switch. And from outgoing terminal provide incoming power supply to socket by connecting a wire. Similarly in this room number 3 we will do the connection. We will use this third MCB here. Connect one wire and provide incoming power supply to this switch board. Through this switch we want to control this bulb. So connect one wire from here and provide phase supply to bulb. The socket is to be controlled by this switch so we will provide incoming power supply by looping a wire. From outgoing terminal connect one wire and provide phase supply to this socket. In our corridor also we used a switch board. Through this switch board we will operate this bulb which is through main power supply. And the socket will also run on main power supply. This bulb here will run through inverter power supply. The bulb in our washroom also run by inverter power supply. So in this switch board we have to do connections of main power supply. You can see this fourth MCB. From this MCB connect one wire and take this wire to switch board for providing incoming power supply. I provided incoming power supply to this switch. So through this switch I will control the bulb. Connect a wire with outgoing terminal of switch and provide incoming power supply to bulb. Now this second switch will be used to control the socket. So provide incoming power supply to this switch by looping a wire. From outgoing terminal connect a wire and give phase supply to this socket. So in our main power supply connections for phase supply is completed. Friends now to this switch board we have to do the connections for inverter also. So what we will do is this MCB which we have I mean the MCB which we used for inverter connect a wire from outgoing terminal and take the wire to this switch board for connection. We provided the incoming power supply to this switch. Now this switch will be used to run this fan. To control the speed of the fan a regulator is also used. What we will do is connect a wire from outgoing terminal of switch and provide incoming power supply to regulator. Now in this regulator at outgoing terminal connect a wire and provide phase supply to fan. So to this fan we provided incoming power supply through inverter. Now this bulb also need to be controlled by inverter. So what we will do we will operate this bulb by this switch. To provide incoming power supply to switch loop a wire to the switch. From outgoing terminal connect a wire and provide incoming power supply to the bulb. Now we have to do the connections in room number 3. For this connect a wire from here and provide incoming power supply to switch board of room number 3. This switch will be used for this fan. Connect a wire from this switch and provide incoming power supply to regulator. From the outgoing terminal of regulator connect a wire and provide incoming power supply to our fan. Through this switch we want to control this bulb. So we will provide incoming power supply to switch by looping a wire and from outgoing terminal of switch connect a wire and provide incoming power supply to bulb. So the connections of room number 3 is also completed. Now we have to do the connections for room number 2. To provide power supply from inverter to this room loop a wire from here and connect with any of the switch. 
Now this switch will be used for this fan. Let's do the connection in the same way we did before. So I am not explaining this. Let's do all the connections. Friends in our corridor, to the switchboard be installed here, we have to provide inverter power supply also. So what we will do is loop a wire from here and do the connections with this switch. This switch will be used for this bulb. Connect a wire from outgoing terminal and provide phase supply to this bulb. Now see friends, we want to glow this bulb also through inverter. So loop a wire from here and provide incoming power supply to this switch. From the outgoing terminal, connect a wire and give phase supply to bulb. So the connections of phase supply from main power supply and inverter is completed. Friends, if you want to use separate MCB for separate room for inverter wiring also, you can use it. For this, you have to do the connections of MCB and to provide incoming power supply to MCB, loop the wire from here as we did before. Now through every MCB outgoing power is supplied to every room. Now we have to do the connections for neutral supply. For connections of neutral supply, we will use this bus bar. In this room number 1, for connections of neutral supply, what we will do is from this bus bar, connect a wire and to this bulb provide neutral supply. To this fan also, we have to provide neutral supply. So to provide neutral supply, loop a wire from here and do the connection. In this socket also, we have to provide neutral power supply. For this, loop a wire from here and give neutral supply to socket. Now in this room number 2, here also we have to do connections of neutral supply. For this, connect a wire from here and to this fan, connect this wire. To both these bulbs also, we have to provide neutral supply. So by looping a wire, you can easily provide neutral supply to both the bulbs. In this socket, at left hand side pin, we have to provide neutral supply. So connect a wire from here and provide neutral supply. In this way, we have to provide neutral supply in room number 3 also. So connect a wire from here and we will do all the necessary connections required. At first, to this fan, we provided neutral power supply. Now to bulb, we want to give supply. So from this point, you can give supply to both the bulbs. Friends, you must have a question in mind that we did connections of this bulb through inverter power supply and we did connection of this bulb through main power supply and to both the bulbs we provided same neutral supply. I provided same neutral supply here because neutral supply is always common. From this inverter there is no need to provide inverter supply separately. We can use the neutral supply from main power supply. Now friends, in this socket also we have to give neutral supply. For this, loop a wire from here and provide neutral supply to socket. To this switchboard also, we have to give neutral supply. So by looping a wire from here, we can give the supply. Friends, if you want to give neutral supply from here by connecting a separate wire, then you can do this also. To both these bulbs also, we have to provide neutral supply. So by looping a wire from here, we can give the supply. Finally, to this last bulb also, we have to provide neutral supply. So by looping a wire from here, you can give supply to this bulb. So all the connections of phase supply and neutral supply is completed. Now only connections of earthing is left. For connections of earthing, connect a wire from earthing source and to this switchboard at this pin, we will do the connection. Friends always remember this that in the switchboard at the biggest pin, we have to do the connections of earthing. So you can see that to this biggest pin, we did the connections of earthing. Now in this socket also, we have to do connection of earthing. So loop a wire from here and to biggest pin of socket do the connection. To this switchboard also we have to do connection of earthing. So connect a wire from here and to the biggest pin in socket provide earthing. That's it friends. In this way we do the connections of main power supply and inverter power supply in our home. Friends if you have any doubt from this video then ask me by giving comment in the comment box. Friends I hope you like this video. If you like this video please give like on my video. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching this video.